Hi everyone, welcome to my first CSGO community map showcase video. I've been wanting to make this kind of content for a while, so I'm very excited to finally make it happen. The first map we'll be taking a look at is AR Vintage New York. This map was uploaded to the workshop in September 2013 by Terminator525, and as the name suggests, it is an arms race map. I wanted to take a deeper look at this map because I figured it would provide some good practice before focusing on newer, diffuse maps, and because I feel like Arms Race doesn't get enough love from Valve or the community. The map is set in an old school New York City environment, a place which has fascinated me for a long time. I think the maker has done a great job of capturing the aesthetic of the location. The narrow side streets with the tall brick apartment buildings along with the fire hydrants and billboards and even the newspaper vending machines they all serve to transport you virtually to the location at hand. Obviously, a lot of time has passed since this map was produced, and it's unlikely to stand up against newer maps made today if Valve were to consider adding a community arms race map to the game officially. However, I still think it holds up as a playable map. I played a couple of matches with bots, and enjoyed the experience for what it was. A critical problem for maps designed for game modes that involve respawning, such as Arms Race or Deathmatch, is ensuring that the player's current location is instantly recognisable as soon as they respawn, because they are respawning in a different place every single time. This is important because it allows the player to immediately get their bearings and take off to keep fragging. After running around the map for a bit, I feel confident in saying this map does a good job of keeping each area visually distinct from the rest. On the flip side, this map does suffer from a problem that many other maps have. It can often be difficult to tell where to go. There are a couple of odd dead ends and multiple doors that look like they can be opened but can't. One exception to this, however, was the fact that I could cross one of the clotheslines where I felt it made sense. I thought this was a nice touch. The map has a few other minor problems that really wouldn't take a lot of work to fix, I think. I repeatedly found bots stuck in the corner of one of the apartments, and they also don't know how to climb over this fence. The reflections are also a bit weird. They don't appear to match up in most places, and some windows are just blacked out entirely. Another note was that I was a little disappointed to discover that I couldn't shoot the balloons like you can on Overpass. I also noticed a problem out on the main road. There's a one-way street sign, but the markings on the road directly contradict it. Despite these problems, I really appreciate the effort that has been put into this map. It's not reasonable to expect every mapper to endlessly polish every single map that they create, and I feel like this is exemplified in this map, with the specific example of the water tanks atop the buildings. While it made my life difficult trying to get flyby sh showcase shots, 
The fact is, you can't tell that the water tanks are floating during normal gameplay at ground level and even on some of the lower rooftops. I wasn't able to find a point. I didn't look that hard, but I wasn't able to find a point where I could tell that the water tanks were floating. I appreciate that Terminator 525 did only what was necessary to make their idea into a playable map. The map was created for a contest named Back to Mapping, run by a website named Mapping Base. It's a German website that sadly looks like it doesn't get a lot of traffic nowadays. I suspect most mappers spend their time on Mapcore, which you may or may not be familiar with for having run a few contests over the years. I suspect that you could probably find some more information about the process of creating this map if you were to dive into their forums. Sadly, I don't read German, so I didn't bother. If you do know anything, please let me know in the comments below. Vintage New York is a good map that shows its age, but has potential. It takes you away to another time in another world, which I really appreciate. I'm sure that with a bit more work, it could easily be ready for general arms race play. There's a link to the Steam Workshop page for this map in the video description, should you want to check it out for yourself. Thank you Terminator525 for creating this map. It's a bit late, but I hope you know that your work is appreciated. And finally, thanks for watching everyone. There will be more videos like this in future, albeit for maps created a bit more recently.